That was No Clocks by Pylon off of their 1983 album Chomp. I've never listened to Pylon before, but that was some pretty good new wave, kind of like post-punk sound. Um, really like the concept of No Clocks. Fucking hate clocks. We're listening to that today because we have a song from the Smiths from 1983 up in competition today. Hi, my name is Bean, and you're watching Battle of the Band. We're on day 21 of the Smiths tournament today, and that is match 12 in round 2. If you're new here and you're wondering what the Smiths tournament is, let me explain. We took every single song that the Smiths released and we threw them into a single elimination style tournament. Now they're doing battle and head-to-head -head competition until one remains in the end, and that's the very best song that the Smiths released, according to me. Both of these songs got a buy through the first round, so this will be the first time hearing them on the channel. We're going to be starting off with I Won't Share You, released in 1987 on their final album, Strange Ways, Here We Come. Genius.com has an annotation contributed on here. It says, um, I won't share you, Morrissey lets his inner egoist show, shamelessly breaking up with his lover, whom he sees as a burden. The lover can be interpreted as Smith's guitarist, Johnny Marr. It was a hard one to get through. There are a few grammatical errors in there. It's the final song on their final LP. Its competition today is Wonderful Woman, released in 1983 as a B-side to This Charming Man. It was not released on the 7-inch or cassette singles, but rather on the UK 12-inch single, and not the American version, which didn't really have any B-sides per se on it. Um, it was more like a remix, an instrumental release in the US for some reason. Uh, Anyway, we've already heard one of the B-sides to This Charming Man, and that was the song that backed the 7-inch that is not included on the 12-inch version that we're listening to a song from today. According to Simon Goddard's book, Songs That Saved Your Life, Morrissey said this about this song. In a monotonous way, it's quite tongue-in-cheek. The Wonderful Woman is actually an incredibly vicious person, but still at the end of the day, she had this incredible magnetic ray to me. All the things that she wanted to do, nasty as they were, were completely forgivable due to whatever reason. It's all metaphysical. So we've got two songs from either end of the Smith's uh, career spectrum. Let's see how it goes. Here is the last song on their last LP, I Won't Share You. I won't share you I won't share you With the drive and ambition The zeal I feel This is my time The notes I wrote as she read She said Has the Perrier gone straight to my head? Or is life sick and cruel instead? Yes no, 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 I won't share you more. I won't share you with the drive and the dreams inside. This is my time. Life tends to come and go That's okay as long as you know Life tends to come and go As long as you know No, 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 no. I won't share you I won't share you with the drive and the dreams inside. This is my time. I want the freedom and I want the guide. I want the freedom and the guide. Oh, life tends to come and go. As long as you know, no, 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 no,
That was a pretty sweet little song. <laughs> a little jealous, I guess. But uh, interestingly, done with acoustic guitar and no percussion. There's a little bit of uh, an orchestral element to it. It's a good way to send the band out, I suppose. Let's check out Wonderful Woman. Well, that song's really cool. I like that one a lot, actually. The guitars are super rad. The bass riff was super, super rad. And the vocals were good. I liked it. Um, definitely not about a wonderful woman. He is not meaning that seriously. Although, for some reason, he seems very attracted to her. She's horrible. She wants to trip a dwarf just to get a little bit of mirth. Nobody says mirth anymore. I'm going to go with Wonderful Woman. I think it was the better of the two for sure. It was more interesting to listen to and had some really cool stuff going on there. Uh, I thought I won't share you was fine, but it wasn't really fantastic or anything like that. Um, didn't blow my mind in any way and, uh, you know, wasn't as good. Like this video if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share it with anyone you know who might be into this kind of content. And let me know down in the comments which of these two songs you would have chosen if it were you on the hot seat today. 
that's all the Smiths tournament action we've got going for the day, but please join me tomorrow when we get down with some more the Smiths and the Magnetic Fields tournament action. Until then, I hope you all have a great night, fantastic afternoon, and a wonderful morning. Thanks for watching. Bye.